When I was a kid, my dream was to be a gangster. Wow, wow, Wes. No, please. Hey, it's your show. welcome. Matt's in Texas. <laughs> it was Cheeto Vera and Luis J. Gomez. No. Hispanic episode. <laughs> Fuck, La Migra is going to come pick us up here. Huh? Yeah, we need La Migra <laughs> to get us. <laughs> what? <laughs> not you. Me come and on, Luis. Come on, come on. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not a very good Hispanic. I, I I don't speak Spanish at all. I mean, I can say like three things. I can say, uh, dame la leche. Give me the milk. That yeah, was really gay the way that I looked. Yeah. I looked him right in the don't eyes. I'm like, don't, if you say that to a man, he's like, bro, you're fucking sucking some dick. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess if you say, give me the milk. Give me the milk. Give me the milk in contact. English is gay. Yeah, but, not too, but in Spanish, it's super gay. It's really? even gay. In Spanish, like, you actually suck if you say that. <laughs> unless, unless, you ask your, unless you ask your mom, like, hey, mom, please, can I get, I don't know. But even then, you don't the say. The milk? It. Yeah. You say, look it down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then uh, I can. Uh, Why do I you can, know the gay phrase? It's not gay. I just know how to say milk. <laughs> I know how to say dame la, dame la pluma. Yeah, yeah. dame yeah, la. Pencil. That's a pen, right? Yeah, dame la uh, cabeza. Give me some head. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, do yeah. you say cabeza for head? No, no. Chupalo or chupame la. Like dame la chupame la. <laughs> how do you say? Give me some head. Me la puedes chupar? Can you suck it? Please. I would say please. please. You say please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a gentleman. You got to say please. You're a caballero. So, exactly. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's viviendo en España para seis meses. Oh, you? Oh, good. Sí. You're fluid. In Madrid. Oh, in el deal. norte, in Madrid. Sorry, dude. I don't let know the, what the fuck you just said. That, just, that, that blew my mind, dude. That was crazy. And sounds pretty Spanish. It doesn't even yeah. sound like an accent. I got there and all I knew was uh, Mexican accent. They speak not even close. Like yeah, it's like, not at all. It's like going to Australia. You were doing like the, the sleepy mouse from the cartoons? Yeah, I was like, oh, I mean, I need a hotel. <laughs> hotel was all I could say. Yeah. I, thought, I thought I knew Spanish. I was like, I know Spanish pretty well. I got down there. They would talk to me. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the dialects are fully opposite in every single yeah. Spanish country. I mean, there's not even a close speaking country. Like, you can, if you're a Spanish person, you will understand everything, but they have little words for everything everything yeah and they all mean something else what is what is something like because we were talking before we got on you know obviously cheeto's a fucking professional fighter you're bad yeah. but certain fighters there's fighters that are like athletes that kind of carry themselves buttoned up and kind of like you know this is my job and then there's guys who are fucking fighter you come off like a fighter you come off like a guy who like you don't want to get on your bad side like you're fucking yeah. ready to throw down if somebody says some shit what is some shit in spanish that if somebody says to you in spanish we're like that is fucking disrespect and that's it it's on i mean when you grow up as a kid like if somebody goes like chucha de tu madre which means your mom's the pussy, pussy your mom's pussy yeah that's like like you you're you you teach as a little kid Yo, somebody, anybody can say fuck you or you're an asshole or whatever but somebody says that and you're swinging yeah you so it's like fuck. your n-word is your Pre mom's pussy, <laughs> your mom's pussy. <laughs> Pre that's our n-word yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right but we don't cancel any words out there yeah ever until today i haven't heard of one spanish word that is like you can say it. you can go you can go online and go bananas and you're cool <laughs> yeah but the thing is like they giving the power to the world to fuck with the world. It's yeah, not the of course. Word. The world means nothing. Yeah. I My, mean, un unless you are a real piece of shit, but I haven't met one yet. Yeah. What What happens if you What happens <laughs> if you don't like your mother? Because you could talk about my yeah. mom's pussy all day long. I'm like, all right, you're probably, you got a good point. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong about that. I mean, if you, I mean, that's just like a little thing when I was a kid, but if you're like old enough, you're going to like, cool, dude. But if you keep crossing the line and you're getting like on, Punching range. Yeah. Then we're talking different. <laughs> Do you, what is, what is somebody, cause I, I was, cause I talked to a lot of fighters in my day and it's like, what is, people don't often challenge you right but how quickly do you ever think about that if somebody fucks with you in like life do you ever think like oh shit i'm a fighter i have to hold myself to oh, a different standard fuck no i fucking <laughs> i step on your head on the ground i swear to god but this is the thing 
That's a bummer. People, <laughs> that's a bummer. I was hoping you would chill. <laughs> <laughs> People today get crazy with social media, what they say, but everything comes from a fake account. Nothing really comes from like Luis Gomez saying, hey, I fucking will rape your mom. That, that will never happen. It's yeah. a guy. With, uh, <laughs> well, oh, you for might. For real. Right? For real. You're not okay, I'm on my third Twitter account, so. <laughs> but you might, right? Yeah. You're a comedian, but like, that would, really doesn't happen. You really see, you didn't never see a truth for like a real person. Yeah, of course. It's, it's a funny thing. To me, that's funny. I, yeah. I, if I read, I'm like, I will laugh. Even if it's the most fucked up thing about me or my family, <laughs> I'm like, cool. that's actually fucked up. <laughs> and I do laugh, but not everybody have the same mind. You know, there's people that see that and get depressed. Yeah. Like, but I mean, if you if I'm walking on the street and you're across the street and say something, I might flip you say, you, <laughs> "Well, come here." But I will keep walking. I'm not gonna chase you. Yeah. But if, if I feel somebody Dude. like really get getting chased. close to like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for that shit. With a fucking but like, if you get close house. to me and you're saying "fuck you," and I, I mean, like it happened to Jorge and yeah. Leon. Leon going too close, thinking like, "What do you think is gonna happen?" Yeah. Like if you get any close. I'm fucking letting it go. <laughs> just in case. Because some people were like, oh, I didn't want to punch you. I just want to say fuck you. I'm like, I mean, yeah. that's fighting to me. Yeah. What about what about getting sued? Like, what about if, because that's the other thing. You figure people are always trying to like, great. trying to this set great some shit up. for me, dude. Keep going. I <laughs> mean. This is exactly what I was look, hoping yeah. for. Look what happened to, uh, to Jorge. He punched Kobe and he went free. He, they proved he started the, the thing. I mean, you can go online saying some shit about some kids and them expect you to be like honestly like hey dude fuck you but just because the cops won't punch you i hit you with a bat <laughs> <laughs> and then i take their i take the but i mean because if you can prove you know there, there's some they gotta be some kind of like repercussion for what the, some crazy shit you say yeah unless you're saying it for fun yeah to your friends yeah that's different but if you don't know me don't tell me my daughter this and that that's crazy yeah I don't know. That's what Gardini was saying before you got here. He was saying, <laughs> before you got here, he was like, I fucking hate He was hate speaking it. out He's of pocket comedian. about your daughter. I don't want to say what Gardini's. he was saying. Dude, really? <laughs> After that one night we met? I thought we were cool. That was a great night. That was a great night. Yeah, that was a fun fucking night. That was night. a good night. <laughs> we had the, the first time we met was good, too. We were, it was a Fuck. steakhouse. We were getting fucking we were shit-faced on, I, on wine. I got excited. I mean, we were leaving the fight. Joe is like, yo, you want to go get steaks? I'm like, Fuck with Joe Ron, I eat the fucking yeah. liver. <laughs> and I do eat liver a lot, but we went to the steakhouse and everybody was, you know, kind of shy. We're talking some shit and then, you know, give me some wine <laughs> after. The, and it's like two in the morning because the fight ain't late. I didn't realize that we was fucking. We were there all night. Like maybe four, four or five bottles of wine. Yes. Yeah. The room full of testosterone. Bunch of lies yeah, sipping on wine. Kumi was in there. Yo, Kumi was, was in there. In there. Yeah. Oh, dude, two bottles of wine. Kumi <laughs> was getting wild, <laughs> eating meat. It was. Yeah. It was a good night. That was a good night. Yeah, we gotta do that again. Yeah, wine drunk is fucking that's catches it, up dude. to you. You don't oh, realize yeah. it. I only drink wine. I'm, I'm kind of good at like I know when to stop, but wine will fool you. Yeah, like two cups get you drunk. Yeah. Oh yeah. And honestly, I don't regularly drink that type of wine. I I, I drink natural wine. We hit you harder, but there's no hangover. Mm. That one, my wife was laughing. The next day I was fucking, <laughs> my head was out of my, my 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 brain. I was fucked up. Yeah, the dude. headache of wine is crazy. Yeah, I, dude, I love, I love drinking wine, dude. I'm fucking, I, I drank a bottle and a half of wine last night. I, we did, we did, we did that fucking fight. Um, yeah. We did, we did a, a comedian fighting event this past weekend and I, I fought another comedian and um, like fighting fighting yeah boxing yeah, box. we boxed each other oh, yeah. yeah yeah holy shit and uh tim butterly yeah tim butterly shout, shout out tim, tim butterly. butterly my 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 new son yeah yeah the loser the <laughs> loser is being legally adopted <laughs> the loser is being legally adopted by the winner so we're filing paperwork right now so i'm legally adopting him that's, that's fucking wild is that actually gonna happen? that's actually happening he's my fucking son that look at his twitter right now it says louis or it says tim gomez you can't uh you can't do it you don't think so? No, I mean, I think you legally, you probably can, but. No, I think I legally can. I think can. if he's smart, he should. Just run away. Like, like, no, I'm going to also, I'm definitely cutting him out of my will. <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, be careful with that. He might fucking kill you and take all your Maybe. money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, dude, I've been just fucking, since then, I've been eating everything in sight. Yeah, you looked, you looked yeah. so handsome. Dude, I put on 22 pounds in three days. <laughs> 
22 pounds in three days. I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah. I was like mad when I saw you. Oh, because I was, I was like, I like jacked. fat. I like fat, Lewis. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> I mean, you're going to see people worse than you so you feel better about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are facts. Yeah. Yeah, Those are facts. Shane's a bully. <laughs> yeah. He is a bully. No, I like my friends being fat. Yeah. I don't you, like you, them to do well. You wanted worse than you. I, yes. I see, yeah. Which now there's like broke. three of them. I you got left. You want them broke yeah, without yeah. a job. <laughs> fucking feeling sorry for them. Yeah. So you're like, oh, yeah, I fucking love this guy. Yeah. Why? It's it's a, I, like, I want, he was I, fucking <laughs> he comes like waves. skinny. I wonder tan. if it does that with fighters too. Like, because like, you know, I always see similarities between like comedy and fighters, right? It's a one man sport. Like, you you know, you you do it for the love of it. There's no money in the beginning. You're just fucking yeah. doing it for this crazy masochistic reason. You're just sort of like, you know, going in there to do it. And I, I, there you come, like you get to a certain level of success where you start to go like, oh shit, I can be happy for my friends, right? right, right, right. And yes. then everyone's like, oh, this is pretty good. And then your friends get that much more successful. Like Shane's so successful that I stopped being happy for him now. <laughs> I, was, I was watching, I was watching, um, <laughs> Selling Sunset with my girlfriend dude. It's a show on Netflix. It's a very it's, gay show. It's a very gay yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> but so, and I'm, I'm watching, and and I, I paused. I was like, babe, I was like, I was like, I don't know if I can watch the show. I was like, I was like, I don't know that I'm ever gonna be able to afford a 15 million dollar house. And it's kind of like, I don't know if it's like inspiring me or if it's bumming me out. And just as we paused it, literally Nikki Glazer walked into the room to buy a 15 million dollar house. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, Dude, I, I hate my off. life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that show is crazy. They sell crazy houses. But everything- Wait, you watch it too? No, I just hear about it. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 They, asked me, they asked me to be on one, on like, a, like just chill with them. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Oh wow. Yeah. I can't be around that type of people. They're all hot chicks, smoking hot fucking- I mean, but depressed. <laughs> Yeah. That show is depressing. You don't want to watch it. That's like the that's that's like the couple shows. You don't want to see that shit. Yeah, it's. I, I just I th having that much like enough fifteen million dollars for a house is is wild. Just a wild amount of I money. I mean, that means you at least gotta have fifty. I mean, who yeah. knows? I don't even know. You these, can, these numbers sound like magic numbers. It's like bazillions. Dude, you can after have the first check, million. after the first check, that's ten grand for a weekend. You're oh. like, you're like, oh. I thought the it's top. The I thought the top because I was opening for Big J for years. Yeah. I thought two thousand dollars a weekend was the most you could make up until three that years be, ago. That, that three was. years ago, I was yeah. like, "Dude, two k a weekend? Me too. What? That's exactly what I thought." <laughs> but I mean, that's, yeah. that's 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 letter you climb. I mean, I fought for eighty bucks. Yeah, yeah, eighty bucks. I I my 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 MMA debut. They paid me seventy bucks. Then for a few fights, I fought for like for free. My first fight out of the country in Panama was. 95 it wasn't even 100 Damn and wow. i paid my flight tickets at my hotel yeah. not me so my sponsor but I mean, that's what it is with comedy in the beginning you you're literally going on the road you're losing money you know you buy your flight you buy you just to have the opportunity to get up and, yeah. and to just cut your teeth and to you know try to figure it all out and then slowly but surely after a decade you go oh now i'm making a yeah. little bit of money and then it just doesn't feel like enough I mean, but exactly, but because we always want more. I like I like comparing it though to like doing a fight in Panama. Yeah, dude. My oh, first so open mic was just like your fight in Panama yeah, for ninety dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do a black room in Philadelphia, <laughs> so I understand. I mean, but it's whoever said more consistent that get it to the other side because yeah. everybody have the same desire, but not everybody's willing to fucking walk the walk and stay there because it's fucking shitty. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, and it's like embarrassing. People are like, you went to. Cleveland for 80 bucks to bomb in an all-black To all fight an Ecuadorian? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to, yeah, my dad, every time I'd leave, I, I'd be like, he'd, he asked me every show I'd do, he'd be like, how much are they paying you? And I'd be like, I hate when my I'd dad asked like, me dad, at the beginning. Nothing, He's nothing. like, how much are you making? I'm like, oh, fuck, I got 200. Now they don't ask. No, now that my anymore. dad, now my dad will ask me. I'll be like, I'll go see my dad. I'll be like, you want to know how much they fucking paid me on this one? <laughs> I'll buy your house right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy you, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll make yeah. you my slave. Yeah. Uh, kick in the chest yeah. now. Uh. Say that. Come on, daddy. Who's daddy now? Huh? <laughs> For real, that's what I say to Just my dad. Just waving money and says, "Put your pants down, Phil." That's what I say to my dad. I'm like, "Yo, I'll buy your house right now, dude." He's like, "Shane, you're an asshole." <laughs> It's like no, you. Used Shane to told me. me he told me that he'd give me a million dollars if he killed himself. He said just no strings attached. You don't remember this? I promised you. You promised me if you said if you kill yourself, you give me a million dollars, no strings attached, before Fuck. you killed yourself without saying anything. Can I get All some right, of that? Deal. I help you kill yourself. I promise. What? If you kill yourself, yeah, which is actually like it's a decent bet. Can I get some of that too? Yeah, I I'll help send you. you I help you die. You I help you die. <laughs> just a million, dude. Who gives a shit? Will For, you beat me to death? <laughs> I'm. If you if you put a, the money back here and you sign 
that, I, that, that you wanted to do it, euthanasia. I fucking step on your face into your mouth. <laughs> How quickly? <laughs> I don't use soccer shoes, the one with the metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You step on your Take fucking your head. Take your you know, how quickly could you beat Shane to death with your bare hands? Like, in, in, a, in a very realistic way. Like, I'm asking. For real, for real. It's a real question. I think. To I, death. I think He's a order, big guy. I know. One I, minute. I, I think in order to kill somebody, it's not, it's not like 20 punches. You got to like solid for a minute nonstop. You have to take a break, get some Fuck water. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it, it's not easy to kill somebody. That's why when people act yeah. like gangs, and I'm like, I mean, killing people is not cool. Well, yeah. kill but for a million dogs, and if he's accepting it, I mean, say, <laughs> well, buddy, accepting it. I like you bad. That minute will get me far. <laughs> I think to kill him with your bare hands, you'd probably just choke him. Yeah, that would be quick. The quickest way. Yeah. But then. I mean, you gotta really choke him because if you don't, if you're choking a little bit, he will come back. And that's fucked up. You gotta fucking <laughs> oh, do it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're counting your money. He wakes up. You're like, oh, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> and, if, yeah, if, and if you beat the fuck out of him, he's gonna still like fucking agonizing. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you just give me a fucking knife, dude. Let me yeah. fucking slice you up in like a no, pig. dude. Why? Let's do a gun. No, dude. You yeah, gotta beat, the beat to death is fucking well, yes, <laughs> shit way to go. <laughs> I mean, you really want to win the money. Yeah. yeah. And you gotta make sure he's dead, otherwise, he's gonna come back with a vengeance years later. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hire someone to beat up, death. His eye half closed, <laughs> his jaw fucking twisted and shit. Well, Shane's Shane's a tough so Shane doesn't realize how tough he is. Cause we've we've played sports together. You're so strong. If you wanted to beat me up, you, all you'd have to do. And because you said this, because you're like, oh, you were talking about me and Butterly fighting. You're like, oh, Tim would piece me up. I was like, no, dude, you're so strong. All you would have to do is grab me by my shoulders and start pushing my head into yeah, a wall over move. and that's over again. Move. But you really, dude, I'm telling you right now, I, I like remember the pool. You grabbed <laughs> yeah. me in the pool and just picked me up. And it was, I felt like a child. I thought, yeah, but you guys know fucking jujitsu. No, not it's, really, dude. I, not, bro, no, but check this out. In, that's a problem. That, that's a that's a that's a little difference between knowing jujitsu. Taking a boxing class yeah. into saying fuck you in the street. Like, it's a different animal. It's a different energy. Dude. If you get to grab anybody and yeah. just fucking throw them against a the wall, I don't give a fuck how you're fighting. You're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. And mm -hmm. most people out there will be like, oh my God, he's actually strong. They will push down. Yeah. Yeah. Happens he's not throwing up an I'll arm ball if he smashes his head into dude, a bar. <laughs> I tried yeah. to, I, I've talked about it before, but after a podcast, I was all fucked up and I started like pushing Rogan. Like, just like, or like Mark Coleman, you saw that one? No. That one, yeah, yeah. keep going, that too later. But we just got done and I was, I was obviously, I knew Rogan was going to kill me. I wasn't like, I have a chance here. But I started like run block and like offensive line football. <laughs> I was like, you can't do shit. My arms are too long. I was like pushing him. <laughs> and then he, he just pushed my arms out of the way. Choked me in two seconds. It's also different. It like was, a, a black belt is it's much yeah. different. It and he's a strong motherfucker. Crazy. Yeah, he can be he, he can be fucking five what five five yeah five, he's eight. five yeah yeah he's like my size but he's fucking a fucking refrigerator he's huge dude full of elk yeah that's a big motherfucker yeah, <laughs> yeah he was huge dude but <laughs> I was a, hammered I was hammered so he had me in an arm bar and I was like. This is nothing, you pussy. I'll never, <laughs> I'll never tap you, fucking bitch. And then he really cranked it. I'm, I'm still hurt. You fucked my shoulder up. I mean, you have to. I mean, you have to. Do it. If your homie's saying fuck you, you gotta. Yeah, get he a fucked me injured. up. Yeah, that's mm. the right and thing. And then he felt do. bad. I, I called him the next day. I was like, dude, you fucked my shoulder up. He was like, oh fuck, dude. Like, come back, come back to Austin. He's, he's like, dude, I'll fuck you up my stem, stem cell, cell guy. That's yeah. exactly yeah. what he said. <laughs> he's like, I'll get you stem cells. Remember, I was like, my knee right. was fucked up. He was like, oh, dude, just he was like, hit up the knees over toes guy. Yeah. I was like, the world famous knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DMing him, and he's gonna answer me, Joe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Joe is Joe. That's a fucking legend. And he can fucking fight too. I mean, yeah, he, he that guy that guy can kick your head at any day. <laughs> Even with those tight jeans, he will fucking take your head off. Yeah, those tight jeans. <laughs> it's <laughs> They're funny. probably tactical. They're probably like stretching shit. Yeah. It's funny how much like Ari doesn't know about like a fight. Like we'll be in the, we'll be talking. It'll be me, Ari, and Norman. And he'll be like, do you think we could take Joe? It's like, no, dude. We have no shot. You mean all three of you together? Yeah. Ari and no. Norman? I mean, Ari looks very fragile. I don't know. Yeah. He looks like a guy that you would have spit on his face and fall. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a, he's like a guy that smokes cigarettes all day. I think he's got black a chin, coffee though. with sugar. I think Ari's got a chin. Yeah, because he got slapped yeah, by Rappaport. He just uh, Michael Rappaport laughed slapped right him in his face. face. He laughed like right at him. Yeah. Of, like somebody smacked him on his face. Slapped him in his face and he just laughed yeah, at him. Yeah, he's a famous actor, <laughs> yeah. Michael Rappaport. He was in the movie Higher Learning. 
And, and he didn't do anything about it? No, Ari just laughed. That was his defense was to laugh. That's kind of fucked up, it was, too. But then they kicked Rappaport out of and, the bar. It was pretty funny. Oh, they kicked him out? Yeah. Why is that? Just because they're comedian? Uh, uh, <laughs> Ari was talking shit. Oh, so Ari got canceled for making fun of Kobe Bryant when Kobe Bryant when he died in a helicopter crash or like hates yeah. he already hates the lakers i like kobe right yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah everybody it likes, was, it was everybody a joke. likes kobe it was a joke or it was yeah, like but it's yeah, the, but way, it's the way the way that ari joke. does joke so like i mean like literally ari like the a minute before ari the, we, it's announced that kobe and his daughter die and then ari puts like an instagram live was, video and he's just like cackling laughing it was it was it was yeah. bad. It was bad. And if you That's know Ari, you understand why it's funny. He does he yeah. he, he would do videos like that for a lot of celebrities when they would I'm, die. I'm sure he's funny. It was I'm, hilarious. I, I got if, yeah. if I'm in charge of the cancellation group, I'll be like, ah, let's give the guy a pass. Yeah. But it was just well, he's a comic. Sensitive. Look, here's the reality. Yeah. Like, you know, Ari's number one, a really funny person. And number two, he's actually a genuinely really good person. Yeah. Like a legitimately like sweetheart yeah. of a person, very selfless, really helps people he looks, out. He sounds, when I hear him on, on shows, it sounds good. Yeah, he's the man. But he's like, like a good dude. He's the man. There's so he, a problem with the cancellation thing. I mean, if I feel if you do comedy for a living and you get to a point that you're actually good, you can get away with anything because it's yeah. fucking comedy. People that pay, doesn't no matter what race they are, whatever, they, they want to laugh at the jokes. That, of course. Like, yeah. like if I read well, you're, you're, you're Hispanic, right? So somebody, if you're in a comedy club and somebody's making Hispanic jokes, for, I, for me personally, yeah. I love that. I feel like I'm a part of the show. If they're making fun of everybody but my race or my, like, I'm right. like, well, what, what is going yeah. on here? I, a friend had tickets for your role, and this is fucking seven years ago, a long time ago. He invited me, and Whitney Cummins was right before him, and she locked, I was amazed, like, who the fuck is this Mexican? I said, like, bitch, I'm from Ecuador. I should, I should just look at where she wasn't expecting me to answer. And, and, I was like, from Ecuador. and then she just look at where and keep going. I was like, I got you. Yeah, that would fuck you up. Because she was expecting me to be like, Go yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mexico, yeah. I feel, like it does, I feel like cancel culture doesn't affect fighters as much, though, because, I mean. Not at all. We were just fuck, talking about that. Really? Like, like, Sean is feeling like he's yeah. the fucking is, a staple for that. Now I think I can say anything. I mean, I, I think I watched Conor McGregor bite the nose off a 90-year-old man in a bar. <laughs> <Sock> <laughs> that, dude. Yeah, dude. By the way, speaking of already taking a punch, that geezer took that punch. Yeah, he did, dude. He took a hook <laughs> from behind from Conor He's McGregor. Was like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, that guy's been drunk since the 70s. <laughs> yeah. He don't give he didn't a feel fuck. A, he, didn't he, feel a like, thing, dude. He, gonna, he don't even know who Conor is. Yeah. He's like, bro, I went to war, bro. You think I give a fuck about you? <laughs> yeah. That was, was, I think Connor offered him a drink and he'd say, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's Connor. He was probably cocked out. He's like, fuck you. He took my fucking drink. Yeah. You know? That was that was actually the worst look for Connor. It's crazy. Was the the guy, amount of things. Connor, not Connor just is hitting truly uncancelable. The amount of things that like. Not just hitting the old guy, but the old guy swallowing the punch. Yeah. yeah. And just being yeah, like. Yeah, the old man should get canceled. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, the fuck was that? Ass. That was disrespectful. Yeah, that was to the well, fucking chick that, uh, and then he went into like the bathroom at like the Lakers game or whatever. And then, like, it came out later. It was just a picture of, like, a fat chick. And I was like, no, oh, nobody buys that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it came out later. She was sitting with him at it. She was, like, yeah, still around. Getting... Like, it was, it was clearly a... It was, but, I mean, in defense of him, let's see what the, what the meetup would happen. He told security, kick out the boyfriend, tell the girl to wait for him in the restroom. Whatever happened, whatever happened. But then... Oh, she had a boyfriend with her? I mean, that's what one side of the media oh, say. what a whore. Anyway, so that made me oh, angry. I apologize, yeah. dude. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> Just imagine my girlfriend, you bitch. She yeah. would do that, wouldn't she? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's heavy. But I mean, is that true? Or is just this one chick saying like, I'm going to sue this asshole. I'm going to flirt with him. And them say, I don't want to do this. And them say, tell everybody. It could be both. We don't, I don't Probably. know anything. Yeah, yeah. You almost say, it's almost, if you have the opportunity to sue a celebrity or a corporation, it's almost stupid not to, because you're going to win every time. There's going to settle out. Yeah. They're like, fucking, let me just get this a out of my way. Right. Um, so you sort of see it happen all the time. You see, you know, people come up with frivolous but lawsuits. But Connor is, it is a little out of control. I mean, you, he's with a beer every day. Could be just for the picture, but it yeah. doesn't seem like it's for the picture. Yeah. And he's fucking loaded. He don't even need to fight. Yeah. He's fighting just to earn some respect back, because I think that's what is bugging him. He have like, no one is like, fuck yeah, that's the man. Yeah. It's like he's rich, famous, but being, being the best. I, that that has to be something that 
like very few people are the best, like in the world, right? right? The absolute best. And there was a time where Connor was genuinely the best yeah. and he's chasing that dragon, the money, the right. fame, the any, like he's got everything he but gets. That's but the thing. Sometimes you chase, you chase so hard the wrong thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be fucking broke. I want to have, I want to be loaded, but you want to be that loaded and everybody disrespect you. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. It does suck when he made it and everyone like now, now he's a money fight. Obviously he's a, so people are just like, fuck you. Constantly trying to fucking goad him into it. Yeah. And he's, I, he's fucked up. He's doing blow Well, he's and so shit. famous that he, like. He's getting on Twitter. He's like, ah, Joe, yeah, tick, yeah. <laughs> Joe. That was my favorite. You ever listen to his fucking. I love Connor's, when he does that. Connor's what, Twitter is so know, funny. He don't, he don't write on Twitter. He put he like a voice, voice note on Twitter. Oh, his voice He does the voice. And he was watching the, <laughs> he was watching the Khabib fight. Obviously, I don't say obviously, but it sounded like he was probably doing blow watching his Khabib fight and he was making fun of Rogan for being like, that's an illegal head strike. He's like, that's an illegal head strike. Shut up, Joe, you dick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> Call him a dick. He's funny. He's, <laughs> he's, Shut he's, up, Joe. He's funny. He's just, he just loses it a little bit. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm, I'm assuming and I'm pretty sure he's a really cool guy. Yeah, he he's seems just like just the coolest guy possible. If, like, if, if, you're, if you're partying with Connor yeah. and like you're on his good side, I'm sure he's the fucking coolest yeah. dude in the world right, to party right. with. You're just in private jets <laughs> yeah, doing yeah, the best yeah. blow in the <laughs> world. I mean, him that, just that the boxing. cocaine he does is <laughs> yeah. probably actually good for you. Don't you, yeah. when he's blow the blow, the guy's healthy. He's so clean. Yeah. He's actually, yeah. gives you a better yeah. mind. I don't know. It's like, dude, I just want to fix my relationships. I mean, he's probably using like 91 gas instead of like 84. Yeah. For yeah. the preparation, you know? Yeah. Or maybe jet fuel, something oh a little higher. Oh my God, dude. Conor McGregor blow has to be the best blow in the world. Maybe not. Like, there's a lot of people that die with shitty blow too. That is true. <laughs> what a way. I think everybody, at least one guy you like, a musician, celebrity, die out of a fucking wrong line. Yeah. And then how you prove it's a good line. There's not like a machine that goes beep, beep, beep. Oh, this is fucking good. Yeah. No, you got to give it to one of your you loser, watch, you loser friends and I watch them do it I first. I the gas digital staff go at it. <laughs> yeah. And then I go, all right, if those fucking guys are That's alive. what podcast producers are for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I let Gardini that. go first. You put the line here. He's like, come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get the first line. Yeah. I mean, one bad line can really send your heart to a fucking boom, boom. Yeah. I had to chill on that. When was the last time you did coke, Shane? I, f I did Where's it. Was Gordini laughing? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> he no. Was I did it. Uh, I did it once this year. That's so that's good. pretty good. That's great when for, I first for got a comedian. That is fucking power well, yeah, all the when time. When I first got to New York, I was like, "What? You, you or me?" Uh, really? You can see me come on. I'm usually drinking laugh. a little. So there could be a couple yeah. bumps in there I forgot about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah. I did one little at Skankfest. Somebody gave me and DeRosa a bag. And we were like, fuck, dude, this probably isn't real. And I was like, I'm not going to do it. I, I just didn't feel like doing it, but I yeah. did do a little fucking gummer. Yeah. That and doesn't it, count. And then I was like, I was like, this isn't even real Coke. And then like 35 seconds later, my whole face was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of my friends been for years, like, come on, did you just get a little bit? I'm like, no, bro, I'm fucking virgin. Yeah. And I want to keep it like that because I don't know what's going to happen if I give it a try. Yeah, don't dude, do it. Don't. You should definitely. I, you I never, mean, you've never tried cup. Never. I get it. I get to 30 years old with, and I don't want to say all my, I don't want to disrespect the non-cocaine ones, but I will say seven out of 10 are weekly users. Very functional, great people. They have a job. <laughs> They don't cuss. They don't say the N-word. They're good people. But they do a lot <laughs> oh, of cocaine. Oh, is that the standard now? I mean, what are we doing <laughs> yeah, here? <laughs> and I was like, and they do a lot of cocaine and they're fine, dude. And they're always like, come on, dude. They're like, they chop it. I was like, this is tiny. I'm like, bro, I'm cool. Fuck. It's not a dick. I'm like, yeah, I can tell. Yeah. You're fucking doing it for this. I know you. Uh, if you if you beat Sean O'Malley for the title, you got to do a bump. Just one bump as no, a celebration. No, 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 don't no, listen to Shane. Shane's being a pussy. Don't He's being a pussy right now, dude. <laughs> Bro, I just it's just not happening. I mean, the Capri can offer me one, and I be I pass on it. Is yeah. there any person in the world that can offer you cocaine where you could not pass on it? There's got to be a person. I will say, I mean, I'm getting a check this out. I'm getting a Adam Sandler tattoo. From Happy Gilmore on my leg. Nice. Maybe, maybe that guy. But even even him, I think maybe I'm really like, bro, I pass it on it. 
Sandman. I, some other drug. The I Sandman. Mean, which other drug is not as... <laughs> Huey as, Halloween offered you a blow. Yeah, that's a great so, one. Do I some, love Huey Halloween. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a great fucking one. Huey Halloween is so fucking funny. Bro, I on five week, yeah. I watch every single Adam Sandler movie What's your exists. Favorite? Happy Gilmore? Uh, Waterboy. Waterboy. Waterboy is yes. sick. When he's a Jude and, he's, and he, said, he sells uh, <laughs> diamonds, that's a good one too. Oh, that's a great movie, yeah. yeah. Gem, the gem, something like that. Yeah. Uncut gems. I'm bad with names. Uncut yeah. gems. What, what, why, uh, what, what Happy Gilmore tattoo are you getting? Like, what is it? I gotta go through Google. Uh, anything funny. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be out uh, behind my leg. Yeah. That's, that that movie made me laugh harder than any movie I when I was, was a kid. I thought it was the best, yeah. Dude, the I'm fucking scene laughing. with the clown. Where he yeah, he's yeah, yeah. in fucking pieces. Dude, when I was a kid, it literally- gonna die, clown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As of today, I keep re-watching every- yeah. Him and Dead Washington. I can watch every movie every day. And I'm really good at stop watching movies at all for a few months, and then I go- Back again. Back. Wed Wedding Singer is great too. <laughs> Wedding yeah. Singer is great. That's how my that's how my son is. He's gonna watch the same movie over yeah. and over and over. I, I, if, if it's a movie it's like that makes me that's how you watch laugh, I love it. <laughs> I laugh like a motherfucker watching his shit. Yeah. yeah. Waterboy. I saw Waterboy five times in theater. Wow, that's aggressive. That's how dumb I am. Yeah, <laughs> I saw it five times. I would you, go to the movies. You're funny. That's why. Like every day for. Yeah. I mean, days. maybe if Alan goes like, "Come on, dude." And started speaking like Happy Gilmore. I'd be like, ah. Yeah. How much? Let me see. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> just, I'm cool. Just a little bump with the Sandman. I would do fucking like psychedelics with any guy I like. Oh, that's right. You love psychedelics. In I, fact, the last time I saw you at Ruka, you, mm. you had just taken mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was out yeah. back. There was a van. Did you have a van there? No. I have, Who had I, a van? Somebody had a van that was like parked there for a little while. And I remember you. They were like, "Oh yeah, Cheetos on mushrooms right now." They told me, and you were hanging out out back, like outside. Oh yeah, it's a, a earth room that is parked there for years. Yeah, it's yeah, empty. Yeah. yeah. And my friend gave me one by it, so it looks like we we're coming out of the earth room. Yeah. But no, the earth room has been dead there for a few years. I I like mushrooms. You want to take a dab? Oh, I'll take a dab. Hell yeah, I, get, I got you. You take dabs. That's what I usually do. Actually, I just gave up dabs today, but now I'm taking a dab with Chino Vera. <laughs> Obviously, I, take, I exclusively take dabs and I and spoke once, and I was like, "This yeah. is too much." I'm starting to cough, so I was like, "I'm going to do just joints." This is not the problem; it's the blood. The tobacco fuck you up. Yeah. I, I mean, I love a nice split times a year, but. Yeah, I know. I, I just in my head, I'm like, I, I don't know why. As I'm getting older, I feel like I'm gonna get cancer, and I know that like nobody's ever gotten cancer from weed, or you know, we don't know. Actually, check this out. Check this out. You, you have the, if you have that thought in your head, it's not good, right? Because you, you think about it. Fasting will mm -hmm. kill every single cancer cell in your body. If you fast for like. You start Shit. with intermittent fasting. Yeah, this fucking fast <laughs> fuck. <Shit. laughs> <It's like> <laughs> <laughs> but like if you like eat, let's see, you go six to six every day and you get a, in a good habit and then you go for a day. It's, it's a process, right? It's like running. You don't start at 13 miles. You start at half a mile. Yeah. I do three day fast every, just water fast every six months. Three days? Eat. Three days. Wow. Just water and coffee. And dude, when it's ready. Thank you, my friend. When vibrates, suck it. Dame la leche. No, no, Dame wait, leche. no, no, wait, wait. When vibrates, oh, is 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 heating up. But like f fast helps with that, and of course a clean diet. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I don't think about it. That's not a good thought. Oh, dude, I got to do an interview after this. <laughs> Who are you interviewing with? Uh, Bennington. I got to do one back. <coughs> oh, nice. But that's yeah. the best way to do an interview high. I, I cannot get high. I almost, when I, I, did, Joe, out, when I did Joe's podcast, yeah. I almost pulled out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I took a little too much mushrooms. Yeah. And that was so weird. That was like, yeah. I'm taking, I've here. taken a lot of mushrooms in that during that podcast. And it's like. That fucking roof with the, the stars. Yeah, you I just hate start staring it. at that. I, Oh, it was bad. heavy. We do it, and I we'll take mushrooms, and I'll just not talk. I'll just sit there. I'll sit there for like two hours, just not talk. <laughs> and then they'll be like, "What's going on?" I'll be like, "Dude, I can't do this." You know, I almost like I literally almost pulled out. I almost texted him like, "Um, I I didn't want to say I'm sick because that's weird." Yeah, I, I was like, "Dude, I just get in a 
car accident, I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I was that white white sick. I took <laughs> sick was crazy. You gave I him easily pre- I got a car accident. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like it sounds like a sounds like an excuse. Yeah. I'm sick. But yeah. if you crash, that's more real. Yeah. I was just like <laughs> when I was in the Uber going to the studio, like I started just like things were sort of like kind of like shaking. Yeah. I was like, oh fuck, I don't want this to move. And the Uber driver was like kind of like talking a lot. And I was like, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so how long you tell? Uh, I have no idea. Three days. Yeah. Uh, how you like Austin? I'm like, oh, it's very cute. <laughs> very cute. <laughs> I was like, leave me fucking alone. Yeah, getting fucked up in, in Joe's studio is scary. Yeah. Yeah, because he's fine. Joe can take whatever. Well, for, he doesn't understand. His, like, I, I mean, maybe you guys are different. Like, for me, yeah. like, I'm so in my head about everything. Yes. Like, the whole last time I was on, like, you, this time, you know, I'm uncomfortable. If I'm uncomfortable, I'll do this a lot. Like, I'm thinking. Yeah. It's just, it's a, it's <laughs> like a nervous, dude, it's a yeah. nervous tick that I have to comfort, like a self comforting thing yeah, where yeah. I'm touching my face. And the whole time I'm on Joe's podcast doing this, hmm, really, Joe, tell me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I can be fucked up. What really hurt me was I was. In my head, I was thinking half a gram, which I take that all the time. And it took a gram by accident. Of mushrooms. Of mushrooms. Microdose. So instead of took two pills, I took four. I don't know why make me took four. Yeah. On that day, I got ballsy. <laughs> Out of all the days <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, there, yeah. because half a gram is nothing. I do my 13 miles on it. I'm fine. I go you'll, surf. you'll train. You'll train on. Only running or surfing. I don't, anything related to fighting. I don't do it high. Why not? Because I'm not going to fight high. Yeah. I want my, You're my, afraid of what could happen? <laughs> no. I mean, I spar a <laughs> few times high. Yeah. But the reason I don't like it is because most of the time make me feel better than not. But I'm not going to fight high. So yeah, I just yeah, try yeah. to keep it the way it's going to be. Yeah. When, when Bisping took us to Ruka, I brought Diego. And Diego sparred with Cheeto. Oh. And Cheeto fucked him up. Yeah, I bet. It was fucking wild. Wow. That's saying. But Diego, yeah. Diego's pretty Diego's, good. He's a, yeah. he's a tough guy, but check this out. He came at the cage and just told us, like, hey, I want to spar. And Oh, you remember this? Yeah, I remember that. And Parillo was like, wrong people. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> gear up. Yeah. But I mean, for him, what a cool experience. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, literally. That he, motherfucker can take a punch. He can take I'm a punch. Oh, yeah, really? he, he's I was a, cracking him. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't being 100% a dick, but I was yeah. touching him. Where's Diego from? Uh, Florida. No, what's his? Oh, a Colombian. He's Colombian. Yeah, redheaded Colombian. Yeah, <coughs> that's a weird mix. Yeah. 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 He was probably mixed with a cow or something. I like got that, that right, right? <laughs> Wasn't that right? <laughs> Pele Roja. Pele Roja. Yeah. <coughs> he's, probably, he's probably half human, half cow. Damn, I'm fucking jealous. <laughs> From the mountains. <laughs> there's no, there's no gingers in South America. Yeah. I don't know if I met a ginger growing up. Yeah, we don't got the gin out there. It's weird yeah. people. Weird people. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a ginger Cheeto. You got a little Cheeto in there. Yeah, I see. Yeah. That. When I leave the mustache on, longer yeah. hair. Let me see. Yeah, you can be my ginger algorithm. <laughs> you guys should spar. <laughs> you should see who's powerful. But, but check this out. The way, the way that happened was like. He was a I wrestler. Was, yeah, he yeah, can I'm, wrestle. I'm, I don't really defend takers. I don't really grapple. But wrestling is a very important thing. To have, I'm guessing, but that day, <laughs> so I'm guessing, <laughs> not like you need to rest, right? Yeah. But we're we're hitting meat. That it wasn't a sporting day, yeah. And these guys were like, you know, fucking around. Bisping was there, and he literally walked to the cage with gloves, shingles, and a headgear. It's like, yo, you want to give me a run? And I was like, I'm always kind of like, yeah, that's coach. Yeah, I act pretty good in the gym, and part of one, come up. <laughs> Ooh. You just asked the wrong guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then Bisping put me down with a body shot, like just fuck, dude. Like what are you at, doing? Like at that? will, like he was just like he was like, watch this, guys. <laughs> 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 it felt that, like I was shot with a shotgun, day, dude. When I was done a spar, and Bisping was like, "Hey, man, give me a round." Like touching, right? Yeah. I'm punching in the air. I'm not even when I get close to him. He was sipping punches. I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck?" He's like, "Don't be a fucking bitch." I'm not punching you. I'm like. Yeah, it says it's 220, guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and then, um, what's his name? Luke Rockhold will be training there as well. And Luke and Bisping always had, like, you know, obviously because Bisping gets knew for weird. the title. 
but they they would like kind of like just like alpha like energy and kind of like look at each other weird God and fucking. Then one day they were just like we were there. They were like let's just have a grappling match and they just went fucking hard, just rolling around wow. like on the mats and like such a yeah. What a what a cool like a, a really cool gym. One of the coolest yeah. gyms I've ever been That's to. That's a cool gym. Yeah. Yeah. It's Rick gone now, but oh, they closed it down. They closed it down, but they're making something better. Um, right now, it it it'll be ready soon. Yeah, when those two are were in the gym, it's, it's scary because two big guys both think they won because they actually won one apiece. It's like, uh, if they fight, I wouldn't separate yeah. it. They're too big, I'm going to kill each other. Yeah. But the person <laughs> like this, we got like 20 fake everything. He got a fake arms, fake legs, fake <laughs> yeah, knees. Thing, yeah. It's a half robotic. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, you know, like Robocop? Ro 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 yeah. He's like, He's getting there. Yeah, it's almost not fair. He, he's more he's more fucking yeah, cyborg than machine. human at this point. He got two fucking metal knees. Yeah. Titan, so a little cooler. He got, I think, sh both shoulders, neck. He won the title with one eye. Yeah. It's bonkers. Yeah. It's bonkers. The whole like, story is fucking blind. crazy. I went to do, I went, I drove with Vegas once with him. And his bad eyes is uh, the left one. So when he's driving, no, no, the right one. So when he's driving, he's like, hey, mate, there's cars coming that way. And, I said, <laughs> and he was fucking going fast. And I, and I was like, yo, when you came by yourself, you fucking got to go like all the way like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I say one line. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> Every like, time he merges, you're like, whoa. A <laughs> few times I saw like the, you know, with, with the big cars are like honking, like, vroom, vroom. I was like, yo, 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 no, 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 stop, stop. He's like, what, mate? Ah, oh, I will find. Zoom. I was like, ah. Oh. One time and ever, no more. I say, I ain't yeah. driving with you at all. <laughs> You're missing one eye. Yeah. You're one eye away to don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all it is is one little fucking dust bunny yeah, giving the blind. other eye. It's, and it's over. It's it's just, bro, being blind is scary. That's why that motherfucker is that tough. Being, yeah. is, being just think, close your eyes and that's your new now. Fuck that. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a sketchy. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the just yeah, it's a, definitely a tough breed of like human. Just like just even that I I've, I went to England, and just there's like just something about and, like. Did you go to like Scotland and Ireland? Yeah, we went went to Scotland. Those we guys, this little tour, dude. Those guys are. It's like just like a there's like a toughness to the trying to fight, dude. Patchy, yeah. patchy, hairy, yellow teeth, yeah. hard drinking. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, they don't give a fuck over there. Yeah, yeah, they try to fight you. Part of the culture. Part of the culture. To yeah. That was not part of my culture growing up. I was a fat theater kid. You're a cool goth. I was a cool goth. You were. I, I would. I was the. I was the toughest of the goths. That is a dangerous goth. Like I was, that is like the yeah. most scary goth. Because if you get beat up by a goth, it's very embarrassing. Yeah, but and I was man, like, you but can beat up is, most of the. Is the god the monaguillo, the one that works with the like the boys with black, the black yeah. eyeliner? Oh no, no. What is a god? I thought it was. You know, when you go to church, there's the two kids. Doing the bells underneath the that, table. Yeah, is that that's, a god? No, that's a. No, no. uh, How you call those? Talk about an altar boy. Those are <laughs> those are victims, Cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were, yeah. What is a god? Because I thought I thought god was like, like black eyeliner. They black were like hair. Marilyn Manson t-shirts. Like, oh, you were an emo. Emo. Kind of like emo, but darker, oh, not as gay. It was emo. Cooler than emo. If you would have been my... A little, a little more manly no, than emo. Can emo. we admit that goth is more manly than emo? I would have yeah, ruined it's... your life if you would have been classic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, I was going <laughs> after those. I was like, come on, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah. like the ones I was talking about. Yeah. They do the same things. Yes. The only difference is like one is doing by choice, the other ones are doing by pressure. <laughs> Oh uh, god! Damn, that sucks. You were a goth. Well, I wasn't a real goth. There was goths, and the goths didn't accept me. No, no. Like so, like I would, like I would wear like Marilyn Manson t-shirts and wear like eyeliner. But I was like, yo, those goths are gay. So you were, right. you oh, okay. No, I was. I, I walked. I, you know, I walked to the beat of my own drum. <laughs> you were a loner. I was. I was nominated for most individualistic in my class superlatives. Nice. Yeah. So they, yeah. So like, they, it was. It was I on, didn't win. It was on record. You didn't have friends. <laughs> Second <laughs> like place, number one loner. They, they, you have a diploma that says you were a lonely fuck. <laughs> they they could have just put virgin in the yearbook, but they didn't do that. Damn. Yeah, like I don't think not many chicks are fucking goth out there. What'd you say? Not many, not many chicks are looking for goth out, out not there. Not many, but goth chicks at the time. I, I lost my virginity to a goth girl in high school. How was that? People like love goth cutting, the, cutting your arms and fucking. At the yeah, same we, time? Li we 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 listened to Pantera Cemetery Games. Wow. Wow. Sex, repeat. 
to Pantera to for Pantera the first time. The first I can't time. fuck to that. Ooh. I don't think my D will go hard with that music. I don't oh, like. Yeah. I can't listen. I can't hear. <laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to music. You can't listen to music. I can't listen to music. Yeah. Oh, dude. It throws me. I off. Just do what does. I just want to do what Leonardo DiCaprio does. I want to put the earbuds in and that's fucking. Nice. That's some, that I could handle. That is awesome. Put a mask and I. Dude, like I got a, a rub and tug. On. <laughs> I got a rub and tug one time. And I put music on, dude. I, while I got the massage and the rub and talk, I had music on the whole time. It was so disassociative. It was so disrespectful to this woman. Yeah. It was the best. I can do that without the fucking heavy metal in my ears. Yeah. I, I despise that music. I can't even be I near like it. it. Yeah. I got one friend out of my whole group that listened to heavy metal. When we're in the car, I told him, you put your music, I kill you. <laughs> like literally, I'm, I'm not for the million. <laughs> I can be in a car because they put, they also, that specific music, they crank it at a hundred. I can listen to that shit. I like Bob Marley. I like to be chilly. Yeah, chill music. Yeah. Guys, fellas, when that fucking nicotine craving hits, you're going to want to deal with it right away. Whether you're in a restaurant flying in the friendly skies or at church with your grandma, Lucy Breakers lets you get your fix whenever and wherever you are. Easy. Each pouch has a small flavor capsule inside that fucking breaks and moistens your mouth. And oh, yeah. And punch it up. And it punches up the flavor with, like, with flavors like mint, berry, citrus, and mango. Personal favorite, I'm a bit of a mango man myself. Uh, choose your preferred nicotine strength and your favorite flavor to make the perfect combination. Also, love having some nicotine pouches on the flight. People don't like when you smoke on a plane. You get arrested. Visit Lucy, that's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, and use promo code DRENCH to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's L-U-C-Y dot C-O, promo code DRENCH, to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print. <laughs> Lucy products are for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. So don't even think about it, youngsters. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive fucking chemical, so don't play around with it. Hey, guys, let's talk about Manscaped. If you're thinking of skipping this ad because you already have a gross trimmer that you use since college, just listen. We're talking about your balls. <laughs> to the gremlins, we're talking about your balls. You can just use whatever has been wrestling away in your shower for years. It's time to grow up and shave with Manscaped. It's time to grow up. Their Platinum Package 4.0 has everything you need to get grooming. It comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. It comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 <laughs> for ear and nose hair grooming. Crop Reviver Ball Toner and their Ultra Premium line of body products, including deodorant and body wash. You stinky fuck. Personal endorsement. Talk about shaving pubes. I I need a good trim. <laughs> the lawnmower trimmer is a total game changer. It has a 7,000 RPM motor. That's fucking crazy. A spotlight so you can see what you're up to. And it's totally waterproof. So get 20% off and free shipping with code DRENCHED at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code DRENCHED. Use the Platinum Package because the gold standard is no longer good enough. Whatever the fuck that means. Just because summer's coming to an end doesn't mean you have to stop showing off that beach bod. <laughs> True Classics Fall Essentials will keep you warm while still highlighting your assets. Their t-shirts are made with a tighter fit in the arms and shoulders and a looser fit in the gut for a streamlined look. Just for the listener, this is odd. Me and Josh have never met each other and... <laughs> He's in my living room watching me read an ad about fucking t-shirts. Personal endorsement, I love the gear, dude. You ever have a true classic tee, Josh? Uh, no. All right, that's all right. <laughs> you give them a shot, dude. They actually are fucking nice. For those formal days, True Classic has launched five different styles of button-up shirts that will look great and feel amazing no matter the occasion. You're going to feel great at your fucking dad's funeral. So if you're ready to make the easiest summer upgrade, shop now at trueclassictees.com and save 25% off with the code DRENCHED25. Josh, are you listening? That's true. That's code DRENCHED25 at trueclassictees.com for 25% off. This fall, step into a world of style and comfort with True Classic. All right? That's something you should consider, Josh. Let's get back to the show. 
Did you know that 35% of all car accidents occur between 6 p.m. and midnight and the highest amount of drivers involved in car crashes are people aged 25 to 34? That's probably you, dude. If, you, if you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 law offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. Morgan and Morgan, I read that. With over $15 billion recovered, Morgan and Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Morgan and Morgan has been fighting for the people for over 35 years. Chatting up with sweet baby girls is hard. Submitting an injury claim to Morgan & Morgan is easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash drenched or dial pound law, pound 529. From your cell phone, that's F-O-R, thepeople.com slash drenched or pound law, pound 529. From yourself. This is a paid advertisement, in case you're wondering. But I mean, I respect to him fucking the metal. Yeah, yeah. that's hot, wild. dude. A hot goth chick. Yeah, but was right, hot? So the thing with me with yeah, the pretty hot. with the music is like I can't take myself seriously. So like, if I'm fucking the music, I'm like, I'm gonna fuck to the beat. Well, yeah, but I don't take myself seriously. <laughs> like, I can't be like, yeah. you are like, you can't, I can't like, get into it. You don't like. What do you do? I just hump until I you literally come. Laugh. <laughs> I laugh during sex. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. You're never like, ooh. I mean, I have to be drunk to like genuinely be like, yeah. Dude, I remember one time I was fucking a chick and I like, whatever sound I was making, she like mocked me. Oh my God. <laughs> like, 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 I, like, I, I, whatever. Ooh. Yeah. And she went, she went, she went, uh. Oh my oh, God. Oh, she followed you? Oh, she mocked me. Yeah, dude. That, yeah. And then I really got in my head. I was like, oh shit, do I make sounds like a bitch? She, she just delete. That, that's a delete. Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't fuck it more than once, right? No, I did a couple times. Yeah. Okay, so that's crazy, funny though. That crazy make, Canadian that would, chick. I would like it a little. Yeah, I don't mind a, a laugh during it. Yeah, you having you having a good time. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's fucking the most is, fun. I mean, it's fucking is the is the best thing you can. But do. a mirror like that in like a hotel room. And I oh, catch a yeah, glimpse. I perform like I a champ. A, no, no, I look oh, I'm a mirror. Like, I'm an American myself. psycho, dude. I, I flex. S- dude. My I, wife hates when I even look at the mirror. <laughs> so a, I just look at myself and I'm like, fuck, that's even better than anything else in this room. <laughs> See, yeah. I, you, dude, I maybe maybe like that's this. a Latino thing because I look at myself and I'm like, damn, I'm fucking her good. Look I, at me go. You guys are I out th- of your mind. I think since I was, I think that's why I have a good personality and I believe in myself. When I was a kid, I look at the mirror and I'm like, holy shit, you're fucking pretty. <laughs> I mean, you're the best thing in this world. I mean, there's, I look at the mirror and it's like, I can see nothing better than me. I mean. That's a good, that's good. That's I great, guess. bro. I, yeah, I think that's exactly narcissism. I'm but like, <laughs> I, think, I think that's literally the tale of narcissists. He said, I, you want to know why I'm yeah, so great? Yeah. Because when I used to look in the mirror, I would say, God, you're good fucking. Yeah. That's what made my personality so Honestly, good. Honestly, what made me good at stand-up was looking in the mirror and going, what the fuck? Yeah, dude, having a little that? dick, yeah. having a little dick made me funny. If little I had dick. a big dick, I would be the biggest piece of shit in yeah. the world. Little dick, you got. I mean, football, you got to get in the shower with the whole team. You better be funny. Yeah. If you're taking yourself seriously with a small dick, oh, you're fuck. Yeah, you're fuck. That's yeah. the that's the first joke I throw. I talk shit about myself. That's the best yeah, thing you yeah. can do. Yeah. If you don't talk shit about yourself, you won't make it too far. That's it. Yeah, but a mirror, a mirror while I'm fucking looks. I'll catch a glimpse of it and be like, holy shit. I practice my I interviews on the mirror. Group. You do what? I practice my pauses pitch on fights on the mirror. Like my wife is like, you're fucking, your brain is out of control. Like I look at myself and I start moving my hands and I speak. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, don't fucking throw me. Don't do that ever again. And I keep talking. Yeah. And I, and I talk about how I want. Oh, it's crazy. That's actually, that's nice. My action was, my friend Action, the rapper, he was laughing at me the other day because I kind of like, I have like, they give me like a CD of just beats by Alchemist. It's yeah. just beats, it's like, it's like jazz for yeah. for instance. And sometimes I'm listening to that shit and I start rapping in the car. And I kind of like confess that to them, bro. They keep, they have some making fun of me. Or <laughs> Wait, like, you rap? I don't rap. I know, but <laughs> I, hold on. Get, can I get some bars? Fuck. Let me get excited. <laughs> I, I can all give right, you some. All right. 
Uh, I, that was I gotta make happy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bob my head and be like, yo, that's good, dude. He's gonna stand up. When I went back home, we did a we did a like a carpool interview yeah. and the guy something happened and he told me like, Well you can sing. I said, I can sing for shit. And I started talking shit about the guy. Yeah. And in my head, some of us were like, fuck, that's actually pretty good. It's <laughs> like, nah. We did that, we did that on this podcast where if you make your friend genuinely try to sing is the best they can, it's hilarious. Yeah. It's impossible. Try to sing. Me? Yeah, please. You want me to try to sing right now? Sing any song the best you can. <clears throat> but it can't be like, it can't no, be No, I'm like, not going to fake it. No, I know, but I'm saying it can't be like, you can't pick like Johnny Cash. No, yeah. Where like it's, it's No, easy, a song that has no. Yeah, like singer. No, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just pick some monotone yeah. shit. You yeah. want something with notes. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Go for it. There. Out in the darkness, a fugitive running, fallen from grace. The fuck song is that? Yeah, it's good. Fallen from God, Lord be sing. my yeah. witness, I never shall yield till we come face to face. Till we come face to face. I don't know that much. You need to see. What is Rob? It's called Stars. You sang like this. Oh Lay wait, you were a theater kid. I was in theater. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. I mean, you can actually... I no, I can't sing for shit, but I, I did use that song as an audition in yeah. high school. For example, I there's no one song I know that many lyrics. <laughs> I The most I know is like, who let the dog suck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all I got. Sing it again, though. Sing it with like, try to sing it well. Actually, I was pretty upset I didn't get to get into in my last fight. Yeah. Because that was the... Who let my, the dog me and my up? son were like walking on the lobby... And we're like, who let the dogs out? And then my son will be like a little fucking eight-year-old skinny yeah. me. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> it was epic. And I was trying to do that for him. Yeah. And this fucking ass was run out of time on ESPN. Damn. Shame on you. So how you get the next one? Fuck, yeah. Fighting for the belt, dude. That's exciting. That's the fucking How's that best, feel? Dude. How's that feel? I'm, I'm still processing it, dude. Like, coming from a place like I will just dream about being signed to the UFC to the, even thinking winning a fight in the UFC to like Dana just announced it and I was like wow wait they yeah. announced it before they told you oh yeah that's normal yeah no, I, know but, that I mean let me explain this thing there's two ways to go about it I can go in Ghana go fake news fuck you blah, pay me blah. more <laughs> yeah when you can just go hey let's, let's go let's meet up no let's meet up let's let's talk What's the offer? Everything is doable and approachable if you're just not a fucking... I mean, Ingano didn't went crazy, but like most fighters go like, fuck you, piece of shit, suck my dick. Then I'm like, if you work at a construction center and you go to the guy with the yellow helmet and the timber, and you go like, fuck you, piece of shit, pay me. You're fired. Yeah. Even you can go to jail. Yeah. One mega thing that we can go on Twitter just because we got like, 2,000 followers who can do that. Yeah. It's also do, like, and I'm on a, I'm on a, do you hear this business advice? Well, no, I look, I know, look, <laughs> oh, the, the US, right? Oh, you're like, comedy you're, club. you're like in God, okay. <laughs> No, but like the, the UFC, I mean, I, they, with that, I mean, I've been, I've been a fan of the UFC since I, well, I ordered the first pay-per-view 1993. Yeah. I ordered it. I was a big pro wrestling fan as a kid. So I, I went and I, I watched Hoist Gracie win the first one. Um, and I've been a hardcore fan for a really long time. I'm not. I'm not as hardcore as I used to be. Because when things become really popular, then I'm like, eh, it's yeah. just not as cool to me. It's like that's yeah. what happened with pro wrestling with like me Lay in Mins. high school as well. Like Lay Mins, yeah. Lay Mins, the movie came out. And you're like, I'm done, dude. <laughs> but like the UFC has genuinely, it wasn't even a thing. They created an an entire industry. Yeah. Um, and I think that a lot of people are very critical of the UFC when I go like they've made millionaires out of so many people. You know, guys, that this is there wasn't this wasn't even an option. There, there was there was mixed yeah. more sources wasn't even a thing. So um, I'm I, I really support the UFC and a lot of their business decisions. I, I think that they're really like great Bro, overall that, for for the fighters and for the sport. I, I mean, I know that I guess people complain about the fighter pay or whatever, but I feel like they've just created an entire industry. People Bro, that exactly like. They talk about like, oh, my weather, McMillions. Yes, motherfucker. They they born every 20 years. My weather, Canelo. Yeah. Maybe Fury. Those The rest of those fuckers doesn't. There's few real boxers in there like Haney, Derbonta, and what's the other guy? 
Terrence Crawford. Like, they're mm. making money. Teofimo. But it's like, those are like old champions. And guys with on, on the field records, like, the rest of the fighter is making probably 75 bucks. Right. And, yeah, and you're talking there's and hundreds of guys on the UFC roster, and a, a lot of them are really feeding their families. I mean, there's 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 journalists, there's podcasters, there's an entire industry that was created out of this that didn't in, exist. The guys at the bottom of the line <laughs> making 10 and 10, their families are eating. Like, they have a job. I mean, I get the insurance, and I'm like, don't get too fucking bitchy. Maybe it's because I'm from Ecuador, mm. and I kind of, like, assume... Life is a little harder, but it's a bunch of fucking soft pussies, including the guy I'm fighting next. It's kind of, they're kind of like that. They're kind of like frail little fucking pussies. And that don't help progression. They yeah. don't help the world around us because people that follow them think that's the way to be. Oh, I deserve this, I deserve that. You don't deserve nothing. Go and fuck yourself. But it's also like the bones or like the foundation of the UFC. If you really consider what it initially was, it was no weight classes. You didn't know who you were fighting that night. It was a tournament. No. You had to fight three times within one night. Oh my you God. have to win. Uh, the, and it was like, it was just like the foundation was, no, 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 fuck you. Put the guy in front of me. I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm the toughest man on the I was, planet. Dude, I was just watching the, I know it, was, it wasn't no holds barred at the, like, uh, I watched the one where the dude was Technically, just, yeah. I mean, you couldn't fish hook. You couldn't gouge people's eyes. But you could punch the, in the balls punch back the balls, in the day. Dude, I was I just think, watching that video. That yeah. fucking dude in a headlock just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Joe, Joe Son. Son. It's it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it was Joe Son and uh, Gary Goodridge, I believe Gary it was, Goodridge, right? Dude. Yeah, and Joe Son, he ended up going to jail for murdering a chick. that like he, And he was also in the um, Austin Powers movies. I'm without CTE. Yep, without <laughs> even. His balls hurt so bad. <laughs> yeah, he held in though. Yeah. He took like seven of those punches. Bro, you to touch the balls. my dick like that. I'm crying. I'm in that moment. I'm stuff. And that guy took he solid took elbows to the straight the head of the cock. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> it's the only way I can come. <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. It's a guy in a headlock. It's like a big black guy. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking jag. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. I think we're fucking, we're good. It's been fun. Good. Yeah. Chief. Oh, we're only at 57. Oh, I can keep it going. I got a, yeah, this is great. So what's going on, man? How's, how's it feel though? Like when did they announce this? Two days ago. Yeah. I mean, I was on the car going to Brooklyn and then people started coming. Yo, you fight for the title. Wow. It's like, cool. I say, maybe. No, no, they didn't announce it. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Damn. I, uh, but it was like, whoa. They kind of told me, they told me, they did say like, yo, you're fighting in March. But like, they just announced it. I was like, wow. And I mean, I feel fucking grateful. That's a fucking, that's a, my life already changed. That's yeah. a life changer right well, there. You have, you have yeah. the win over him, the, the first fight, right? And it was, there was, you know, I guess it was an injury. It was like, um, I guess you kicked him in the knee, right? And then something happened with his knee. I mean, there's a, we have nerves everywhere, right? Yeah. I can explain it because I've been kicked on the leg and my shit goes numb. But mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm in a fucking fight. I'm not expecting that to not happen. I'm yeah. walking to the cage kind of like expecting to get caught, injured, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight through it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kick his leg and there's a fucking nerve in there. Like, you know, all these doctors came out like, oh, there's a motherfucking blah, 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 blah. I mean, I get tattoos. I was getting my tattoo stomach. I felt it on the tip of my dick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nerves are real. I kick him in the leg and he should just die. But I mean, you can pull guard, you can sit down. The fight doesn't gonna stop if you sit down. Yeah. Because you, you can kind of like crawl to me, whatever. And that shit goes away like in a minute. Like So he there was no like injury with the kick. It was just that you hit the nerve and then it just sent him by fuck by oxen. I mean, yeah. God bless me. Is yeah. there any that was it the first round that happened? First round, then he fell on the ground. It was quick, right? I went to the guard. He just set up a triangle those. and I throw that was in his face and I'm guessing the nerve make him go to sleep. And it was in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just guessing. I'm not like, no. it, was, uh, it was in the apex. In the apex. Yeah. So like you could, the, you can hear the elbows and it's like, Jesus Christ. But is it, can you, yeah. do? are you looking at that fight at all? Or do you, do you completely get that out of your mind? Or do you kind of like look at that fight and go, no, no, I beat this guy already. I already know what it's like to be in there with him. Or are you expecting a completely different guy at this point? I mean, I, I'm honestly the type of people that I let shit go. I'm not thinking like three years ago, you say this about me or three years ago, I beat me or you beat me or whatever. I just, I, I generally don't give a fuck. 
I'm not really searching on social media what people saying, what he's saying, or just in general. I'm I'm living a pretty good life, a pretty good, cool life. I'm hanging out with the people I look up. I hang out with people I love. My circle is cool, so I'm not I'm not like worried about this type of shit. Don't get me wrong. My goal in life is to be world champion. I did what I did for my daughter at the beginning of my career. I'm just accomplish all my fucking goals. Be a homeowner. I mean, I'm not fucking worried about if I beat the fucking idiot three years ago. I don't even dislike him. I don't have zero feelings. But that's the guy in front of me. I'm gonna beat the shit out of him on on March. And Hell yeah. That's no shit talking. It's gonna happen. And it's it's gonna be a different fight. It's gonna be. I mean, it's been a few years. I'm on my prime. I'm 30. He's what 29, 28. We're in a fight. How much? How much? How much have you changed since that fight as a fighter? I mean, he's, I mean, with, with, there, there's something to somebody who becomes world champion. They have a lot of money, a lot of resources. You know what I'm saying? There's some people could get complacent. You watch people like Ronda Rousey. I think it happens once in a while. But I think more often than not, I think you see the best version of a fighter after they get that title. They don't want to lose it. They don't want to lose that yeah. that heat, right? Um, so I'm assuming he's going to be a better version of himself, right? A hundred percent. But he have a style of fighting, right? He's a he is a sniper. He's a guy that he's, he's he don't really set too much out. He don't really throw too much. He really waits for an opening to throw. Like that that's how he catch uh Aljamain, but yeah. fuck Aljamain, no offense. He's fucking suck. He, on the kickboxing <laughs> fight. Yeah. On the kickboxing fight, he suck. Mm. He could throw a punch. I'm sure he's tough. I'm sure he gets ballsy. But he's a wrestler that happens to be a great athlete. Mm. That's why he's so out of balance. I mean, like, the, like if that guy is part a, a a real boxer, is yeah, he's fuck. I spar pro boxers. I know what it being there with a real motherfucker that throw crazy punches. I I feel the energy. I feel the speed because my, my that's what Parino makes me do. He makes me spar with like these guys are really gonna sharp my eyes and my defense and everything. And it is risky, but fuck, you don't learn how to race Formula One by driving a sixty. Mm -hmm. So you gotta go a little crazy in there and. I'm sure he's going to be better. I'm sure he's motivated, but fuck him. I'm sure I'm doing the same thing. I mean, it's, it really comes down to like, who's willing to go a little far and I'm fucking down. And he doesn't got kids, right? You, you know, I think that's another side of it as well, dude. He have a kid. Oh, he, he does have a kid. Yeah. Okay. never mind. Yeah, I think he's married. Oh shit. You're in somebody. trouble. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I got three. I got more than him. <laughs> yeah, okay. You got three times the motivation. Yeah. I'm sure he, uh, yeah, he have a kid. I don't know if he's married or not, but he have a kid. Are you going to hit the who let the dogs out? <laughs> Bro, the the dogs when I out? fought in Boston, Nacho, that was so epic. Every time I was, I would yell for like far away and he would start just barking. Like, I was like, <laughs> yeah. that fucking mad dog. <laughs> that is my fucking kid. That's great. Yeah, That's but it's, awesome. a, it's a big fight, dude. It's, it's fucking huge. I mean, he definitely brings that TikTok, YouTube attention. Yeah, yeah. Even if, People think it's bullshit. People don't like influencers. I mean, it brings something to the table. And why not take over all that? I mean, yeah. the winner get, get, gets it all. So that's part of it, right? It's like, you know, when you these the guys that they, you know, there's you a lot of, you know, look, the, the guys who have the big personalities and have huge followings on social media, all it takes is you beating them and then you take all of that power right there. Mm. And then, I mean, it's, it's really that. I mean, it's really you're robbing the guy's house. And yeah. then who's taking more? But like, it's a huge fight. And I mean, it's a fight that makes sense. And I said this before, there's like two guys ahead of me in the rankings, but... Yeah, San Hagen's piss, right? I think he piece, said something. His piss, piss, but they can suck dick because <laughs> one, not even their moms are watching the fights. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's be honest. Um, I don't like this new world of like social media and everything is a pose and you know, you walk, look sideways and the guy take the picture. It's not my thing. But if I can make money of it, fuck it. Why not? Rather make it than don't make it. Yeah. And and fuck, I'm in the UFC longer than them. I fought the hard fight. We also got the, we have the win over I have Sean a, as well, which is I mean, yeah. the story is right there. And I have 22 fights in the UFC. I mean, they're fucking newbies. They gotta wait. And my fight with Shanghai was close. It's not like if you would have beat the fuck out of me, I would be like, you know what? Get it, man. I'm a man. Mm -hmm. That fight was it was a shit. It was a shitty fight. I performed shit. 
I was like, if, if you're really that good, why you didn't try to push it? I mean, he was fucking running all over the place. Mm. And it is what it is. I lost. I took it. I'm not making any excuse. But if you're going to try to get it back for you, at least be like, I stopped him. I stopped O'Malley before. I stopped Cruz. I stopped all these former champions. I mean. Yeah, there's also some just as a fan, like the politics behind the scenes aside, you almost just want to hear, you know, I don't want to hear Stan Hagen talking about how it should be him. I just want to see him just go take the next fight and fucking get the knockout and make the statement and make the case. And then he's next in line, very obviously in the stores, right? The, the story is right there. Um, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I, I don't know. You just don't want to really, you don't want to hear excuses after a fight. You don't want to hear people complaining about the opportunities that they're not getting. You just want to see people taking the opportunity. And uh, that's the way I live. I mean, it took me 22 fights to get where I am. And I'm not fucking complaining about like, oh, in my times I didn't get this, I didn't get that. It's like, fuck it. That was my road. We all got different paths in life, everybody. So you cannot see the guy next to you and be like, fuck, he made it fa faster or, or harder. I mean, well, that's why I feel about Shane. Like Shane put a special out on Netflix, right? Which was fine. I put mine out on YouTube, 172,000 views, one, <laughs> you know, one or two months. That's all it took. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm going to be doing blow and punching an old guy. <laughs> just yeah. just I, I announced my special. Netflix is like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to release Shane's special the same exact day. Yeah. Why not? <sighs> Maybe use the same venue too. <laughs> What'd you say? Use the same venue too. You too? The same venue. Venue. Oh, venue. venue. I thought you were saying bathroom. I was like, yeah. A baño? <laughs> no, no, no. Like the same uh, place yeah, to, the yeah. to film it. Oh, did we not? We, you did. He did it no. at a massive theater. I did in a 160 person comedy club. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. Up. Tonight I'm going to kill myself, <laughs> yeah. dude. This is it. You I give me I, money if you kill yourself? Dude, I'll give you $180 if I kill myself. <laughs> deal, no strings attached, deal, dude. Deal. dude. I'm, I'm serious. You get 180 You still got to show your dick on. <laughs> oh, no, dude, no. no, you said you give me another way all to right, not show right. my dick. All right. Let's do that again. That was fun. Right, I just watched him play Call of Duty and I, he live streams. And he bets me $1,000 versus like, me showing my dick on win, camera. If you win, I'll give you a Yeah. Cool. He did, plays. You need it? I play uh, Warzone. I know, but you show your cock on. No, no, but I, I owe him a cock show. Right not now, me. technically, I'm not watch. technically, I have to show my dick. <laughs> oh, he has to show his dick on his show. Yeah. If he, if, but you get another shot. One more shot. You get another. Play closet. rock paper scissors. The loser got to post a dick pic no, on the no, face. No, 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 no. Dude, I got, I got a, a hilarious <laughs> picture of your of your ass that I just <laughs> every day I see it, I think about posting it. It's you so funny, dude. It, dude. It's so funny. A thousand bucks if you send it to me. <laughs> oh, no. Right not a bidding war. Not a bidding war. <laughs> I pay for the but what you got? I love it. Sell. I, love it. <laughs> I got you. It's a fucking gay ass. It's so <laughs> funny, dude. I'm Is a shade on his belly? <laughs> make, a, make a shade of it. No. It's so funny. Bro, make a shirt. And I have no it ass. I have so a that. flat fucking disgusting ass. Yeah. Oh. But, but that's that's normal of yeah. people like you. Yeah, my cousin is like you have the same eyes. He's like seeing a pork from behind. You see that little thing in there? <laughs> the Hank Hill the pink ass. cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my cousin my, is like literally built like you. You know that the picture of um uh what's his name? John Lennon and Yoko Ono, where they're both naked yes. from behind. I have one of their asses. My no, my ass is a combination of both of their asses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just flat and long <laughs> and wide. It's it's fucking crazy. I have yeah. a large non-existent ass. That's I what I'm saying. That's why I don't understand how you guys look in the mirror when you're fucking, dude. If I look in the mirror and I see my I ass. I actually look pretty good, bro. <laughs> I mean, dude, if <laughs> I, I don't see my ass. see my ass. How do you see your ass in the mirror, though? I'd have to hold yeah, another just, mirror to the mirror behind no, no, me like, and look. It depends on the sideways. angle. If yeah. we're sideways, I can see it. I mean, you probably won't be able to see it even sideways because it's flat. Dude, I'll show yeah, I know, you. but then you can see that there's nothing there. I have a video of me fucking in my phone that I'll show you after the podcast where <laughs> I look I look like a fucking king. I look like a fucking king, dude. <laughs> and whatever the angle is, I, I got the fucking angle on it, dude. Oh, shit, my check will be mad if I show it to you. I won't show that to you. Never mind. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> we're cool. not gonna do that we yeah. promise we <laughs> <laughs> would never do that no we never show him. I love her Shut you do up. love her I do love her she's the one yeah yeah, yeah. she's great that's she's nice. the one that's she's a good, good chick the one is good yeah the one time you show the video <laughs> yeah you can't show the video of the one she she got all she she's fucking I'm off blue chew with her oh no I'm off blue chew I'm going all natural 
That's probably that's probably a letdown for her. No, dude, I'm telling you right now, that's how into her I am. That's nice. I don't even blue chew. I because I was blue once in a while. I take a blue chew. I was like, what am I even doing? Yeah. Why am I doing? I'm trying to like give her more. What is that? Oh, that pill. Like it makes your yeah. dick hard. Yeah. You guys take that? Yeah, hard rules. That's wrong. I don't take it. Okay. I have though, and it's uh, it's great. I feel you use it when you need it, and when you want. You're way too. Well, if you're life. drunk. Well, at night, if I want to fuck my at night, when I'm drunk, it's a, it's a it's a machete, bro. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're talking different levels of drunk, dude. Yeah, well, if you're Probably. sloppy, yeah, 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 yeah. No, if I'm if I'm banging at night, I want to. Also, I'm not chip. fasting and running 13 fucking miles. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I got a car. I can fucking dig a fucking hole to find oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packed with testosterone. <laughs> dude, dude, liver, so kidneys. <laughs> Cheeto rules. Cheeto is so fucking funny. Dude. It's all the organs I eat. You Heart. do all that liver, liver king oh, shit? Yeah. Oh, he's a fucking, he's a lame as mother. Do you see the latest king. video of him where he's just dying? No. <laughs> dude, dude, yeah, dude. What? They have like electrical things on his muscles, so they're like trying to shock his muscles alive. And he's like, yeah, liver king here. <laughs> bro, that guy is dude, so yeah. bad He's going to be dead yeah. in five years. I promise no, you liver bro, king will not be alive. Your heart can not sustain that amount of drugs. Yeah. Doing yeah. that much of steroids is like doing like exercise and cocaine and yeah. fentanyl on the same night. You can live like that. And yeah. the fact that he's actually telling people, yeah, you just eat the liver like me. It's crazy. If you, be, if, if you, hey, for the people out there, if you're a normal person and you think by taking those pills, you look like that, you're a fucking idiot. Shame on you. That's fucking. Well, that's his problem. It's like, I don't look. If he was just like, all right, I make these things. And then that's that. That's part of this. And it's part of the marketing. But he was claiming straight up, like, I look like this yeah. because I'm fucking eating this yeah. shit. <laughs> It is just, <laughs> dude, and I almost can't look away. It's like watching a car crash. Dude. Yeah. I watch him eat an entire cow's head. He like popped out the eyes. Like, mm, yeah. liver is king. How many, how many dudes got tricks by that? Just eating a fucking cow's Bro, eye. Bro, I know guys. Yeah. I know guys. I won't say Mark that. Mark Coleman is on fucking... the liver king thing specifically. Yeah, I mean, it's called him, right? Yeah. He's, a, he's older too. So he needs anything to get healthier too. So he's like, I get it. Like if you're older, you're former father, you're getting out of shape. And I he might be drinking a lot so he's like you gotta find anything to get healthy but if you're younger and you can do a lot don't get fooled by this fucking scam like I said like German scam like I eat liver I eat kidney I eat heart I fucking feed brains I eat it all yeah I'm super healthy so don't fucking look like that I mean there are benefits to eating organs obviously no, they are yeah yeah but, but you don't look like that yeah it's a scam it's it's also and then he got caught using steroids and um which i also don't give a shit like if you use steroids yeah. more power to you exactly. have fun but be like when somebody it's like yo you use a steroids yes i do a little bit but i take these pills to maintain health and blah blah, blah. i will buy that even more than you was like i don't know yeah. and he walks by me this one time natural. and he yeah. smells like a trash can do <laughs> bro he walked by me the one time king? He, yeah, put he your clothes on, dude. You yeah. stink, stinks. Yeah, like he, shit. Have, he have like tight. Yeah, we're killing this guy. <laughs> he have like is he on? In he the have hospital? like super tight, fucking uh, short jeans, like the tight yeah. ones, like 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 a Dominican gay guy. Yeah, <laughs> long hair, like curly, no shirt. Yeah, walks in a UFC event, and I'm like, I went whoa. And I really uh, given the, the 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 benefit of that was yeah, that wasn't him. That was probably something in there. Yeah. Comes back. Oh my God. Dude, my nose would hurt. <laughs> like, it was like, I was like, ow. Like that bad. What, he like doesn't shower at all? It's he doesn't shower because he's, he's all natural. So yeah. he takes like a, he showers only like on fountains. Oh, he won't use like soap or deodorant and shit? Nothing. Oh. I'm a hippie like that. I'm like, I use everything very low in greens. My soap, my yeah. clothes. I'm fucking metrosexual. Uh, something for the face, something for the hands, something for the body. But, Nah, doesn't mean that I'm gonna stink. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no one on his team is like, "Hey, I love you. You're a little stinky right now." Yeah. Like I would tell my homie, like, "Yo, it's clean. I don't fucking know. I I won't let my homie yeah. walk out like that to that. That's fucked up." Yeah. Do you, you saw what happened to his eye? No. 
<laughs> so he's got one eye now. Because one oh, <laughs> wait, liver king lost an eye. <laughs> Tony liver king lost an <laughs> what eye because he was king? doing like I don't know what the exact the exercise was, but it was like a fucking rubber band type thing, dude. And oh, it no. snapped off the door and hit him in the eye. <laughs> no, <laughs> so he's legitimately blind. So he's got one eye patch now, and he's like liver is king. <laughs> <laughs> That's for I'm kind of liking more now. I like it. I got em- empathy for him. I mean, I don't, I don't hate him. I just, he just bothered me like you're lying to people. Yeah. Like that's what yeah. it's just kind of cringy. It's kind of funny. I I, fo- I I don't know if I follow him, but he definitely comes up in my feed a lot. I haven't seen him in a while. Last time I saw him, he was doing great. No, dude, Liver King is He's falling like apart, dude. His, in the woods. his organs like, are failing before our eyes. Oh, but what yeah. about the Liver Queen? How she <laughs> well, Liver Queen the, died a the, year ago. How are the liver kids? <laughs> <laughs> how are the li- liver kids? I mean, they eat like raw liver and shit. I'm like, dude, don't I mean, yeah. I don't really, I want to expose my family like that. Like my kids, yeah. like they love meat because I cook meat almost every day. Like I would big tomahawks and steaks. I'm a great chef, by the way. <laughs> and as when I eat liver, I cut them really small and I tell the kids like, Yo, it's ribeye. And they believe me. So like, oh, this is fucking great. I mean, they're fuck, they don't know they're getting the best vitamins they can. And those fucking kids do not get sick. Yeah. Thank God for the good food because they, they're healthy, dude. You can see the energy. They're they're more bright. The skin looks good. Yeah. God damn, I gotta start eating liver. Like, um, yeah, but you should start yeah. eating. eating better overall. Yeah. And lead, eventually you'll have some foie gras once in a while. I mean a eating duck good, liver? It, yeah. Dog is great, dude. I love duck breast. Duck's my favorite bird. But foie gras, <laughs> they they torture the duck. Yeah, you know how they make it, dude. Yeah, don't they? They, like, they force they force feed it till it gets yeah. so fat and its liver becomes so decadent and delightful. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. They, like, if you watch like videos, dude, ducks. it's like literally a tube down a duck's fucking. Oh. It's just fucking pumping. Oh. Fucking. That's wrong. Like ducks ducks like wrong. wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's wrong. Ducks, ducks, are, wrong. ducks are cute. Ducks are They're adorable. Yeah, I dude. like ducks. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's super fucked up. I mean, and it's true. That's yeah. re- it's like. If you watch any of those documentaries on what they do to food, it's you won't eat. That's why I just don't watch them. People yeah. are like, oh, do you want to watch fucking the, the meat? In-? I'm like, nope. No way. I want to enjoy a cheeseburger. I don't yeah. fucking, yeah. you know, if they tortured this cow, I, I do feel bad, but, you know. I don't want to see it. Where I get my meat, it's, uh, I think, I believe it's the same place Joe's at, and they are like, cows are fucking happy eating grass all day. Is it, is it my friend Nate Bargatze? He's a great comedian, super squeaky clean comedian. But he's got a great joke about that. He was like, he's like, they're talking about uh he was like, you gotta get a free range chicken. He was like, Yeah, they get to roam free. He was like, he was like, Yeah, they're happy. Don't you wanna get the ones that wanna die? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> so you treat them like shit. So they're yeah, like, I yeah. mean I mean, he's not wrong. He's kind of right. He's making sense to be a yeah, little bit. Killing all those happy guys. Yeah, there's a great YouTube video where it's like this dude, he goes like he'll go to he'll kill cows on your farm. Like that's this whole thing. He just shoots cows in the head, but it, you'll you'll be raising cows, and he's like, "Yeah, it's time to like this cow's time to go." And he comes over, just fucking shoots a bolt into their head, and it's a whole YouTube channel. And the first two or three cows that they kill, he'll he'll be right here, and the cow he'll be like, "Hey, cow!" And the cow's like, Whoa. and he goes, "Boom!" <laughs> <laughs> and then the cow just drops. And the first two or three are like, "That is fucking disturbing, dude." Yeah. Four <laughs> cows in, you're like, "This is the greatest thing. No. It's the funniest thing you'll ever see." It's this dude. guy murdering cows. <laughs> That's crazy. Like when I was a kid, I I was on a farm my whole life. So like on vaccination day, you know, they line them up, you go one by one. All that thing I love. When they have to put an animal down, I was like, I'm cool. I eat it, but I'm not yeah. I don't want to be part of the car and taking everything apart. A pork was easy to watch. Like they would bring the pork, cut it right in the middle, letting letting ham for like a few hours. That was okay. A cow? I was like, I can see a cow die. Yeah. Why not a cow? I mean, they're cute, bro. They're yeah. too cute. And, and they're nice. Tasty. But pig, don't, aren't pigs like, don't they have like personalities pigs like dogs? Pigs smart, yeah. Yeah, pigs, yeah. <laughs> pigs yeah, know what's happening. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm more okay with a pig dying. And I don't really eat pigs, so I can actually kill one and I won't eat it. But a cow? Have you hunted before? No, I, I ask every hunter that we know, please take me as your fucking servant. I want to be there. I, wanna, I'm, I'm, I yeah. haven't got an invite yet. Wow, but I'm in crazy shape. I can go up on that with a fucking little. But you would, you you would take you uh, you would hunt. I, would. I got offered to go hunting in Texas last time I went. They they go hog Hobbit hunting. Yeah. yeah, 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 dude. Yeah. Uh, Dean Stanfield. Yeah. He was like, dude, we're gonna go hog hunting in the night, and it was like, yeah, it's not ahead. even for the food. Like in Texas, I guess wild hogs they are a problem. Yeah. They're yeah. like they're all over the place, so they'll pay you like thirty bucks 
per hog that you kill. So they just go with like machine guns yeah. and fucking they just yeah. put like a big thing of bait in the middle of a field with night vision goggles. <laughs> that's and the pigs come and they just mow <laughs> them down. That's, that's, no that's like a joke about every seal. It's, yeah, it's very weak. It Those is. poor guys are eating and you're just like, you <laughs> fuck them up. <laughs> that's not even fair. At least, at least go in the fucking, in the, in, in the woods yeah. and find boom, boom. Yeah, I would. I just would feel so bad if I like, because I have friends who go like deer hunting. I live in Jersey. I live out in the suburbs. I have friends who like go deer hunting, and I just feel like I'm gonna feel so bad if I shoot a deer and I don't kill it. I'm like yeah. just listening to it wail. Yeah, you gotta follow it. Yeah, you gotta follow the trail to try to find it. Yeah, I would love to yeah. hunt. I, and I would like really like carry packages and fucking clean. I like that type of shit. Like being bro, being outdoors. If you haven't been like out, outdoors like that, like in the middle of nowhere, you don't know this how the sounds of the silence out there, the sunrise, the sunset, pff, bro. And I give props to that of how my mental health is today because I grew up with that shit every day. Being on a horse until I don't even know where I am. Did you go uh, fishing a lot? I don't do nothing. Like nothing. That. Really? I just I just grew I up love on a fishing. farm a lot. Fishing's yeah. I love fishing. Until you fishing catch cool. the fucking thing, you gotta rip the hook out of its stomach. Uh, I, I I went to fish once. once. Yeah. And yeah. I caught a little shark. That was fucked up. A little shark. Yeah, I was like, ah. Fuck. That would have been awesome. I took was it off. On that? It was like, yeah, it was No, I meant the word. I said Tiburonito. Is it, again? Is it what's oh, a shark? Tiburon, tiburon. Tiburon. You said tiburon. Yeah, but I said little shark, tiburonito. Tiburoncito. Tiburoncito. Fuck. Man. Yeah. Stop embarrassing me in front of Cheeto. <laughs> and I got I was like, fuck yeah. And then like, because I was thinking what I catch, I'm gonna eat it. I'm not eating that thing. Yeah. Send it back. <laughs> His probably was all fucked up from the hook. Mm -hmm. That was my only time. I said, no more. I don't want to catch another non-usable animal. I struggled with fucking putting the night crawlers on the hook. Really? You ever get a big ass worm? Yeah. Yeah, they like they know what's up. They're trying hard as fuck to get away from that. Yeah. We 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 go every time I go on vacation with the family, we'll do like a catch and cook. You like rent a little boat. Yeah. If they bring you out, you, you cook, catch a couple of fish. You fish a lot, dude. Yeah, you, dude. I, I, I remember when I went, uh, went rainbow or um, peacock bass fishing, everyone was like, oh, you got a fucking Gardini. He's going to be so jealous. Um, but yeah, dude, I love you catching a fish in the morning and then bringing it back to a restaurant, cooking it that day and fucking eating it. Oh my God. That's happiness, bro. I mean, you're fucking, you're eating something that you fucking win. It's a different feeling. It's the best. That's the yeah. thing. I could hunt if I knew we were going to kill it and eat it. I knew we were going to yeah. eat that fucking food. I think I could get there. Yeah. But I can kill anything I know I'm going to eat, like with no bad feelings. I mean, it's just living. I killed a mouse the other day and it, it haunts me. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's dude. so haunted, dude. So I, got, I, I had a mouse in my drawer. Yeah. I had a, a bag of bread that was like a hole. I was like, oh, fuck, I got a mouse. So then I got two traps. I put peanut butter on one and I put cheese in the other and I put them both in the drawer. I took everything out of the drawer. I was like, let's see if this fucking mouse comes. I went, smoked weed or whatever. I came back like 20 minutes later and I heard pop, 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 pop. Like it, it bouncing yeah. around in there. This mouse got caught on the one trap and then it sort of flopping around in the other tra trap. So the other trap snapped on its half its body and the other one snapped on his face. So his <laughs> eye was just fucking, king, dude. dude, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was looking at you like that's fucked up. Dude, this, this, it was twitching like this. And it just, it was, and I was looking at it and it was going, <laughs> and it was kind of cute. It wasn't gray. It was like a brown one, like almost like, you know, a yeah. field mouse or whatever. If I see one of those, I let them be. I felt yeah. so bad, dude. And then I was like, fuck, dude. I was like, I can't just take it and like put it in the garbage and let it be tortured. So I, I brought it outside and I fucking, yeah. I, I fucking made it bite the curb. Yeah. I fucking yeah, stepped yeah, yeah. on it, dude. We had a mouse. Oh. I had to do that. I had to do that. Like it was three, brutal, dude. Three months ago, I was upstairs. It got. It's like the guy. mouse. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. It's like you, motherfucker. <laughs> if it's a rat, I don't have no bad yeah. feeling on stepping on the head. Yeah. But yeah, if it's a leg. mouse, I see them, I, you're good, bro. Yeah. It it just his so leg bad. that got trapped. So he was running. Oh, no. And I had to like fucking hold the mouse trap. I got a boot and just fucking <laughs> <laughs> I put a towel over him and just fucking yeah I put it I put it, it exploded, in a dude. I put it so in a bag. Much. I put it in a bag and I folded it in half and then it was yeah. just like dip, dip, dip. And I went. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I I probably will let them suffer. I don't think if I can do the last shot. You have to. Unless you get me mad. You got to do it. Well, then I feel I that this thing, like the last shot is what fucked me up. But I, like the idea of this thing just being it. in the garbage yeah, yeah. can or, suffering all night. Or down the toilet. He drowned quick. <laughs> <You> drown, drown <laughs> it. 
See, he water gotta, tortures it. I got to go in. The guy who used to live here, one of the guys who used to live here, he was at his parents' house. It was over COVID, I think. And something kept eating the food in the garden. So he set up a trap and it, he caught a possum. And mm. then he was like, I got to kill this fucking possum. Dude, the possum was like, huge. Dude, it's crazy. I, I feel like so thousands of those in my garden. It feels like homicide. He took the possum. He was. <laughs> he didn't know how to kill it. So he just took the cage and dipped it in a <laughs> rain barrel. And he drowned this fucking thing. Oh my God. He thought he drowned it. He lifts the thing up. It's, dude, it's holding on. And he just took a picture. This thing's holding on to the cage. Like, what the fuck? So while it's in the cage holding on, he took a railroad spike oh my. and put it through it. Oh my. I was like, oh, really? Yeah, he told me about this. And I was like, bro, you're a fucking piece of shit. No, I and didn't went that like, far. He was like, possums. He's like, they're bad. And I, I was like, dude, I don't think possums eat. <laughs> but no, you're no. thinking. It's a raccoons. 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 So I Googled it. Possums are good for gardens. They're good. They yeah. help your garden. Yeah. That guy was not the one eating the tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. He they, just tortured this fucking What they thing. do is like raccoons make holes yeah. to eat the worms. So they don't want the food, but they destroy your plants. Yeah. I had one point oh, of time. Raccoons are the best, dude. You're killing raccoons? Oh, if I if I haven't caught it yet, but I've been fucking <laughs> no, waiting to. I will leave shoot that, that raccoon alone. I'm going to shoot that motherfucker. Field, I'm no. going to shoot him. <laughs> oh, a thousand, I, right now, like, check this out. I had a beautiful garden, like seven rows. Dude, I could feed families. I yeah. would give veggies to all my friends. I would do the crazy salads. And these raccoons figured it out that my soil was fucking the best yeah. with the thickest worms. And they started like destroying, destroying. And I would fix it. I would keep fixing it. There was a point, couldn't do it. They just fuck it up. You got killed. So that I right literally there. just let it go. <laughs> and dude, I, I started I start like putting alarm in the middle of the night, coming with a BB gun check. I catch one. Yeah. I fucking drill a hole to his face. <laughs> fucking sit in the middle. <laughs> he was he was keep destroying the destroyed plants. So I was like, "Are oh, you still?" So it was already. I already let the garden go. Everything was dying. I was sad. <laughs> I fucking sit. I sit like ten feet away. I was sad. I sit like ten feet away, and I was just like, "If I catch you, catch you," and I fucking let it go. Yeah. Did you drop? Was he dead? Fuck yeah! Put I thought he said it was a BB gun. He was probably like, "Oh fuck. no, no, I have, my BB gun is late." Oh, you Jeez. got it. Yeah, I have like. I have one that says in the boxes, I have the same speed as a real gun. Oh, okay. It's like, it, you don't have to pump gas. It's just one. Chook, chook. Dude, that thing sounds heavy. Oh, no. Oh, you yeah. killed a fucking adorable raccoon? They're not adorable. Wait, They're they, are, they are adorable. <laughs> That's my food, dude. I mean, you if you're yeah. an animal and you pass by my house, I will, if I see a rat and you're not inside, I'm like, cool. I won't even put yeah. poison outside. They fuck with my food. That's another thing. I was like, you're not fucking with my What'd food. What'd you do with the body? With the dead raccoon. Put his head in a spike for all <laughs> the other raccoons, raccoons to see. <laughs> yeah. Back. Yeah. Just drop in the alley. <laughs> no, I, call, I, I, call, I call, I call, I call, I call. Adorable. I call, uh, like, the animal uh, the service. Past, yeah, yeah. And I said, like, yeah, it's, it was at my house there. I don't know what yeah. happened. They <laughs> came, gunshot they came, up, <laughs> they came and picked it up. So did you execute a fucking raccoon? <laughs> no, like, um, I didn't ask. Did he you, came. Did you carve Cheeto Vera <laughs> yeah, into yeah, his yeah. chest? <laughs> his ground <and> pound. <laughs> he just, he just He just put it in the car and left. But I mean, don't fuck with the food. Yeah, raccoons yeah. are a son of a bitches. When I was in Costa Rica, the raccoons figured out how to open the doors yeah. and come in the room. In the middle of the night, I wake up and there's a raccoon, a fam there's three yeah. raccoons sitting on my counter just opening cookies and eating them, looking at me <laughs> with their fucking they're, thumbs. They're cute. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're really cute, cute dude. But they're, they are poisoning. If they bite you or they touch yeah. you, whatever, if they, like, they're like actually poisoning. They're, they're not good. Yeah. The other ones are pretty good. The ugly ones. Dude, po possums are horrifying looking. I saw a baby one. I went into my, uh, I was like taking out my garbage and like I had like a, an empty like soda, like a 12 pack of soda, like just the box. Yeah. And I pick it up and it was heavy. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I look inside. <laughs> dude, dude. Yeah, they're all ugly. It was, ugly, it was, they're so it was fucking dead. Ugly. It, was a de it, was a, it was a baby oh, possum. No. It wasn't but, dead. I know it wasn't. So, yeah. it goes, <laughs> so I open it and it goes like. It's literally, it's playing possum. I, know, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize, dude. I didn't that's, realize that that was a theft. Yeah, what it was. It's like, I'm just possum. an idiot, dude. And I was like, oh, it's dead. Oh, <laughs> this poor thing. And I was like, oh, I got to get rid of its fucking body now. And then I fucking go to pick it up again. And it went. 
Bro, they're all And then it just laid down songs. again, dude. And its whole thing is like. It's weird. I, yeah, when it's I was a, when so, I was such a kid. The moment the thing. song comes out, they just lay down in the street, like. Yeah. Yeah. Curled up in a ball with its mouth out. Like, but if you see people like pet them on YouTube and shit, they're like pretty kind of cute. Yeah. Once you get over the fact that they look like they're from hell, Dude, they're kind of cute. I, nah, I when I was growing up, there was a, at our bus stop in the morning, there was a rec, uh, a possum we all just thought was dead. <laughs> it was laying, it was curled like that. A fucking cop showed up and shot it. No. In front of the kids. They, was, they were like, this wow. thing must have been rabid. <laughs> no. Years later, recently I Googled it. I don't think they can even get rabies. <laughs> I think I think they're wrong again. No, no. I, I think the possums have nothing. Yeah. Like really nothing for you. Yeah. Like nothing bad. Yeah, they're, they're good guys. Yeah, they actually... They just, uh, God they, made them so horrifying yeah, looking. <laughs> Step back, kids. <laughs> so, like, how's that? Oh, you don't yeah. respond, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, yeah. He's got a gun. He's <laughs> playing possum, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, possums are ugly as fuck. Raccoons are cute, but they're small. And they're mean, dude. They're, yeah. like, uh, they're, they're like a bad dog. They're, they really want to hurt you. They're a big <laughs> fucking... Yeah, I don't like those fuckers. Yeah, they hiss. It's fun. You ever watch people try to feed pop? Or, uh, it's a great video of this gay dude trying to feed a raccoon. <laughs> he walks outside, there's 30 raccoons. So he comes out with food and he's like, hey. <laughs> and it just comes up to him like slow and then goes, <laughs> and bites his head. He's like, oh. <laughs> Dude, that is oh. That. Poor he runs. Guy. Yeah. Anyway, we should go. We should wrap this up. Cheeto, you're the fucking man. Thank you, bro. Lewis. Hell yeah. Thank you. you Thank you, dude. You're I forgot how good at interviewing you Stop were. it. Get you out do of this. Town. Check out my half hour special. Yeah. Check out his half hour special. Check it out, guys. And Come obviously on. watch Cheeto. Win the title. Win the fucking Fuck title, yeah. dude. Thank you, boys. You better say who let the dogs out in your post speech. I will. I actually, for your next special, I can introduce you. Yo, please. I come with like a singlet, like a resin singlet. <laughs> please. Resin shoes. <laughs> let the dogs out. Braid my hair. Yeah. I think we can do something good. I would do that. All right. Peace.